everybody, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2. So we've cleared Beast's Castle and the Land of the Dragons now, so we are off to the next world, which looks very clearly like a Hercules world. And we get to go through the Phantom Storm Gummy Ship level, which is probably one of the cooler Gummy Ship levels in the game. Let's just start off right now. Alright, so we've got the Falcon level 2, Blueprint designed around Weapon Gummies, and High Wind level 2. We're doing High Wind level 2. You know I like... <laughs> I'm a simple man, I just need the vanilla. Vanilla can be great if it's done right. And these tend to be done right. Oh, lock a target. Hold down the X button to lock onto a target after locking onto a target. Release X to fire. Yeah. So for this level, there's like a giant gummy pirate ship that we get to fight. Although, admittedly, the music could be a lot better. It's extremely repetitive. Ooh, a Blizzara G, eh? Yeah, if those things latch on you, you gotta have to do a terrible one. Which you can do by pressing circle. Uh, yeah, now we're just going to try destroying the pirate ship as best as we can. Yeah! There's a ton of stuff to lock on to. Pretty easy, though. But you get some nice rewards if you defeat it. Wow, this is really repetitive music. Ouch! That was rude. Technically, a lot of HP is cut for you from these guys. Tiny little gummy ship versus a giant gummy pirate ship. Advantage tiny little gummy ship. Because we've got Goofy, who's the best pilot. Which I don't think Goofy is. I don't know what Goofy even does, on, if anything, on the gummy ship. He's just all over the ride. Come on. Things get a little bit dangerous. You've got all of these enemies just everywhere. Get off of me. Perhaps I should have gone with the Falcon. So I think, yeah, you don't necessarily have to destroy the pirate ship. Yeah. I didn't get to destroy the pirate ship. Should have gone with the Falcon. Oh well. And this part's pretty cool. Go for this cool tunnel, and at the end of the tunnel is our keyhole. Root open! Right, missions level 1 and 2. We get the high wind level 3 blueprint. But no other blueprints. I believe you have to destroy the pirate ship if you want the other Falcon blueprint. I could be wrong though. Oh well, I don't really care to go back there. Anyhow, now it really starts. Now we get to go to Olympus Coliseum. It's in basically every Kingdom Hearts game. I think there's only one it's not in. Wow, Hercules. Well done. Welcome to Olympus Coliseum. 
However, we're not actually going to the Libus Coliseum. <laughs> we are in the underworld. Huh? Are you sure this is the Coliseum? It's that way! Oh, guess we were a little off. Ah! Heartless! Ah! Oh, welcome to the Underworld entrance in Olympus Coliseum. Yes, this game, the Olympus Coliseum, is not so much the Coliseum as the Underworld. Sorry about that. Garage door opening didn't want that. As I was saying, the garage door was opening and I didn't want that to catch on the camera, but another garage door opened. Anyhow, it's kind of cool how uh, now in this version of Olympus Coliseum they kind of expanded it a bit. That's very nice. Anyhow, let's not leave this girl dying on the ground. Thanks, but I'm fine. And you're supposed to be? I'm Sora. He's Donald, and that's Goofy. We came to see how Hercules is doing. You know Wonder Boy? Yeah, just now he was too. <laughs> you mean Junior Heroes, Donald? <laughs> Looks like we have a friend in common. Name's Megara. My friends call me Meg. So how's Herc? Wonder Boy? Well, he's duking it out every day at the Coliseum. You know, hero's work is never done and all that. He's ready to drop, but he keeps on fighting. Even Wonder Boy has his limits, though. These opponents are bad news. Special deliveries from Hades himself. Hades? <laughs> right, Lord of the Underworld. I was on my way to see him. Maybe I can get Hades to give Wonder Boy a breather. If anything happened to that kid. Gorsh, sounds like you're more than just friends. Oh, uh, I mean, we'll go have a little talk with Hades. I'd hate for anything bad to happen to you on your way to see him. You really want to do that? Well, it looks like you know what you're doing. I guess I'll take you up on that offer. But let's keep this whole chat with Hades being our little secret, okay? Our lips are sealed. All right. So, Meg's in the story now, which is great. Yeah, I love Meg. Anyhow, Google Shop. Let's buy Hammer Staff. We already have that. Comet Staff. We do not have this. Staff used for a strength and magic inspired by the stars. I would like one of those. We have the Adamant Shield. Falling Star Shield. A small, easy-to-handle shield used solely for attacking. Yes, I would like that. Potions, Ethers, and Dex. Hand over our Synthesis Materials. Can we make anything? Got no recipes, free development, nothing there. Alright. Oh then. Donald, you are going to equip the Comet Staff, which will boost your magic by one. So that's good. Goofy, you're going to equip the Falling Star, because that boosts your strength by one. <laughs> we got no armor for either of them. <laughs> Fun. And yes, as you can see, we have the Summon Gauge now for... Uh, Chicken Little is our summon. Also, you'll notice that our drive gauge right now is locked by chains. This is part of the curse of the underworld. When you are in the underworld, you cannot use drive forms or summons. You can't use anything that requires your drive gauge. So that's going to make things a little more difficult. Anyhow, let's explore the underworld, shall we? So we can hit the... There's some falling rocks that will try to hurt us. These little bubbles we can hit to give us MP. Heart puzzle piece over there. These are new enemies. These are bad dogs. They're pretty easy. They'll, like, bark at you, which can damage you, and they can also bite, but 
Apart from that, they're very easy enemies to deal with. Yeah. Oh, well. Who could have seen this coming? Alright. More heartless. Easy enough to deal with. <laughs> Donald, you gotta run faster if you don't want to get hit by rocks. Lancers are back from Beast's Castle. Yeah, that was fun. Take him out. Good. So there's like a fork in the road here. We'll go down this way and then we'll back the track to go the other way. And I'm really glad we're on critical mode and doing a lot of damage to these guys. My push. Shortcuts are really nice. Anyhow, on this path we get two chests. One has an AP boost. Yeah. More heartless. No, I want to take out that lancer. I didn't want that to happen. Thank you, Sliding Dash. And there's an Efer in that chest. Efers are very, very good items, especially later on in the game. Like at the beginning where our magic's not great. Oh. Our HP's running low. Pop a cure. And as you can see, we are now instantly going into MP recharge. Collecting the MP orbs, though, is speeding up that process a bit. And also, our gauge would be filling up a lot slower if we didn't have that MP haster uh, ability. That's critical of this boost. Lance is definitely the most dangerous enemies right now, so we'll give it to them. Then we can take out the bad dogs. Mithril stone, not just a shard. Nice. Run, run away. <laughs> okay then. Okay. This right here is Final Mix exclusive. What's the deal with this book? It looks like it's called Absent Silhouettes. Are you sure you want to touch that? You can't be too careful in the underworld. You're right, it might be a trap of some sort. So, five, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Lakes added a lot of things. This is one of the bonus bosses of the game. The Absent Silhouettes. You'll see these around some of the worlds. This is our, these are basically the Organization for Team Members that we defeated in Chain of Memories. There are bonus bosses in this, and while they're definitely not very difficult as far as bonus bosses go, if we try to fight them now, we are going to get our butt kicked. So, we're going to avoid that. And we got the Underworld map from this chest. And we get a Mithril Shard from that chest. What a shocker. Alright, Moogle, you still have all the same stuff. And over our synthesis materials, we get a Serenity Shard for completing the collection. Cool. <laughs> if we, we have to leave and then go back to synthesize in order to hand over that Serenity Shard that we just got. Alright, and I'm just going to give you a fair warning. This upcoming um, battle, I'll say, it could be pretty darn tough. One of the tougher parts of Critical Mode, Where arguably. Where dig these freaks up? Jeez Louise. Oh, they're nothing but trouble, the whole lot of them. So, uh, what are you gonna do about Hercules? He's made mincemeat out of every fighter you sent at him. <laughs> Pretty soon, the underworld's gonna be standing room only. Say, why don't you just pick somebody already dead and save him the trouble? <laughs> that... that is good. And I know just the warrior. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad Hades is back. Hades is one of my favorite Disney villains. Well, I'm scared too, Donald. Hades, come out! 
<laughs> you gotta come to me, kid. Come on, now. <laughs> Valley of the Dead. This room. Alright, so these are creeper plants. Remember them from Chain of Memories? Yeah, they got ordered into the actual main game. Yeah, I kept calling them lotus flowers in uh, Chain of Memories. No, their official name is Creeper Plant. So I apologize. To anybody who watched my Chain of Memories playthrough and was like, what? <laughs> Anyhow, we gotta climb up this room. Oh, look, hook bats are back as well. Yeah, take that. Got all of the shortcut menu. It's really nice. Oh no, not Lancers. Ooh, damage drive, new ability. That's a good one. That's a very nice ability, actually. And we get an energy stone. All right, definitely equipping that. So. Damage Drive. Restores the Drive Gauge every time damage is taken. The amount restored to the Drive Gauge is relative to the amount of damage taken. That's very nice. That'll let us use our Drive Forms more. I mean, it's not going to help us in the Underworld because we can't use Drives anyways. But, that'll still be a nice thing to have later on. Let's bait out a back cry. Figuring out how and when to bait out Reaction Commands from enemies is a very useful skill to have. Alright, good, good. I'm glad we have full HP and full MP. We're gonna need that for this upcoming... Okay, yeah. Up here. And this is a very... What's down there? Just the underworld's deepest dungeon. <laughs> this time I'm bringing out the mother of all bad guys. You mean the coachman from Pinocchio? <laughs> he, I'd say he's the most evil of all the bad guys, but he's not very evil. Don't but... say. Physically intimidating. Well, maybe I should go. Who's Hades Brimina? Okay, see, this is where it would make sense if he brought out a Maleficent. Because Maleficent died in Kingdom Hearts 1. Hades could have just brought her back. Nope. Any Final Fantasy X fans out there are freaking out now. <laughs> it's Oren. Let's cut to the chase. Here's the deal I'm gonna offer you. I let you out of the slam. No strings. You'll be free as a bird. And all for one little job. Fight Hercules in the Colosseum to the death. This is my story. And you're not part of it. <laughs> Did you forget who you're talking to? I am the Lord of the Dead! Huh. No wonder no one wants to die. <laughs> you are fire! <laughs> or it is awesome. I haven't even played Final Fantasy X, and I already know Orin is awesome. You again? That's a props to Hades. Nice for being an amazing villain who <laughs> you can't kill. Get up. So now we get to fight Hades already. <laughs> That's it. That's well, unfortunately, it. Uh, we can't hurt him. Captain's worm. I feel kind of funny. That's right. See, that's the thing. In the underworld, heroes are zeros. It comes to the territory. Oh, we're heroes? Great. Go now. But I've got to talk to Hades. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Can't fight him here. We have to go. Now. <laughs> Hades, you were an amazing villain. And now we get Orin in our party. And Orin is easily one of my favorite party members ever. He's so good. And normally I'd keep goofing my party so I could use Valor Form, but, um, no, because we can't use Valor Form. So I'm going to keep Donald because he can at least potentially heal me. So now we get Orin in our party. Orin, 
Divider. Attacks enemies while flying through the air. Costs 10 MP. He can use that freely. Healing Water. Restores the party's HP. Costs all of his MP. Or, actually, wait, no, I think he has 100 MP, so this is going to leave him with 1 MP left. Overdrive. A limit command that unleashes Orin and Sora's joint attack. Bushido. Consumes all of Sora's MP. That's a good limit. <laughs> MP Rage restores MP relative to the amount of damage taken. MP Haste uh, increases his MP restoration speed by 25% when during MP Recharge. Once more ensures he'll have 1 HP after taking damage from a combo. We're going to turn off Auto Limit. And Orin, what do you have? You got two potions. I... You know what? Yes, I want as... For this battle, I will equip potions to my party member. Because this fight right here, this is known as Hades Escape, where we basically have to escape from that long valley of the dead room and we have to fight multiple waves of heartless and hades is constantly chasing us and trying to kill us it is very dangerous on critical mode and if you die you spawn at the beginning of the valley of the dead going up to see hades very punishing death and this is also why i have sora equipped with the fire bangle because hades deals fire damage so this will at least lessen that a little bit don't count on it. Huh? Oh. Leaving so soon? Head for the exit. First thing we're gonna do is try to bait out a bat cry. Bat call. Okay, maybe, or maybe not. Maybe he's just sucking up to us. Ouch. Yeah, maybe he'll just teleport around and chuck fireballs. Not very fun. Safety. I got plenty. Right now, we got Lancers. Thank you, Donald. Oh, someone healed me. Thank you. Lance Tuck. Reaction Command. Alright. Oh, Hades. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Four Lancers. Back cry. No, no! My party member screwed me. He was about to do back cry. But then my party member hit the bat, so I put it. No, no, don't walk on the heat. You can't do anything. No, oh, feel the heat. I don't want to feel the heat. Ouch. Alright. Oh no. We're gonna have a limit with Orange. That's a freaking awesome limit. Alright, we gotta deal with this large body. Okay. Wait for his reaction command. All right. Good. Good. Okay. We can escape now. And yes, that is a lot harder than it looks. I just want to say. But we did it. You're really good. Are you some kind of hero? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm no hero. I'm Justin. Huh? Or. My name. I'm Sora. Goofy! Whoa! It seems we were fated to meet. Maybe you need a guardian. <laughs> oh man, I want to learn as my guardian. Guardian? Thanks, but no thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Orin's like, I like you. You're tough. <laughs> Orin. So the underworld curse is draining our strength. You must be weakened by the curse too. Never forget that. Well, the weakening of the curse is us not being able to use drives. I got heartless all over the underworld now, so you can leave those pipsqueaks to me. <laughs> Look, pal, you just keep working on turning Hercules into a heartless, then he'll be all mine. 
This is my underworld, you idiot! I'll handle this myself! Yeah, Pete, come on. Cerberus, go! Oh, no, we, we fought, but we beat him in the first game, and he was super difficult. Farewell. Yeah, we definitely want Orin in our party. Orin is seriously one of the best party members in the world. I don't think I mentioned, yeah, you can you can hit the torches as well. Oh, hi! I didn't think you guys spawned in the underworld. Thanks, Donald. Yeah, this is it. Take that. Blizzard's good at the beginning of the game, but once we get the other magic spells, like, we'll... I'm not gonna say we'll never use Blizzard again, but Blizzard becomes a lot worse. Farewell. <laughs> Farewell. I, the Lancers are so annoying. Lancers drop frost shards, that's interesting. Like that. Oh, I thought you were gonna do your reaction command move. Whoops. That's a reaction command move, take that. Cave of the Dead entrance. Here we go. What? It's closed. We just got a book. Come on, open. Ah. <laughs> How did we miss that giant lock on the door? <laughs> Will that open it? Yeah. I think so. Just do it. Hurry! Yeah, Cerberus is back, everyone. Thankfully, he's not as brutally difficult as he was in Kingdom Hearts 1, but on critical mode, he's gonna be pretty darn tough. Dang, Orin is such a boss. You're a good guy, Sora. We do this together. However, we have Orin as a party member, but we don't have Donald or Goofy. Probably should have given Orin some more potions for us. Hi! So, yeah, Cerberus is gonna grab to begin with. And there are rocks falling from the ceiling still. Thankfully, we've got more healing and evasive options in this compared to Kingdom Hearts 1, and it's harder for him to bite us because we, our aerial combos make us very floaty in this. <laughs> oh, no! I won't give up. Here's This is the fight I wanted Mickey Mouse for. I was saving Mickey Mouse for this fight. About uh, when he appeared on the front of the front. Didn't matter. Yeah, 
I gotta build up Mickey's drive gauge if you wanna be able to revive Sora early. Oh, you can use that by doing the D-Charge reaction, man. Come on, Mickey. Mickey's extremely floaty. Alright, thanks, Mickey. Or you may have the finishing blow. And Sora learns counter guard. <laughs> no goodness. Well, thanks for saving my butt again, Mickey. <laughs> That's how you know Sora is still basically a 12 year old at heart. Come on, Wonder Boy, play hooky for a day. For old time's sake. They came to see me. They came to see a hero. I can't let them down. Sure you can. It'll be easy. Don't worry, Meg. I'll be fine. What does a hero need rest for, huh? <laughs> see ya. Hey. Hercules needs to be introduced to the concept of the Sabbath. Sora? Don't let me down. Don't worry, Meg. We, we sat down with Hades, had a cup of tea, and he's like, Oh yeah, okay, I'll, I'll leave him alone for a bit. No worries. Whew. Huh? What happened to Orin? He can take care of himself. Let's go find Meg. Then we can try this again. That's true. Orin can definitely take care of himself. Sora's new ability, Counter Guard. Counter attacks nearby enemies with attack while performing guard. Yeah, sure. That sounds pretty good. Alright. Back in the underworld. Yay. And that's where we're going to leave this episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 for today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. And if you tune in next time, I hope we'll be able to... Well, maybe we'll... I hope we'll be able to finish Olympus Coliseum next video. Uh, it might take a while because there's still a lot left. But I feel like there's not enough left to more two videos, so it might just be a long, longer video than usual. We'll have to wait and see. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.